Hey boys, it's Arm Nan. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new Comet S2 Cabrio in Grand Theft Auto Online. Let's hop in. So guys, starting off with the armor all the way up on that, of course, for the brakes as well, we will do that. Now for the bumpers, we have front and rear options with this thing, of course. Um, there is quite a bit of customization we can do. Honestly, I kind of hate to say it, but the stock front bumper looks the best to me so i'm gonna keep it now for the rear bumper of course it's got a lot of the same options as the regular comma s2 uh we can like entirely remove the bumper you can add like turbochargers i want to say onto this thing too um which is kind of crazy so i think we are going to go for the primary rear diffuser i like that look i think that looks pretty cool now for the engine all the way up of course for the exhaust we can add performance exhausts, crossover exhausts, race exhausts, turbo exhausts, or turbo exhausts too. Let's do the turbo exhaust too, why not? Now for the fenders, we can add front fender vents. We can add carbon ones. We can add vents and over fenders. And, or of course we can add carbon vents and over fenders. Um, I'm not really a fan of it, we're just gonna leave it. For the hoods, there are quite a few options. I don't really know which one I want to go for here. I almost like the smooth hood. Let's go for that one. For the lights, we are going to go Xenon, of course. For the livery, we do have the option to add several different liveries with this thing. Man, the air hurler does look pretty cool. The Stronzo is cool too. Uh, Yeah, we're not going to add a livery though because it's like a cabrio, so it's not really a race car. So uh, for the plate, yellow and black, of course. For the respray of the car, this is where it's going to be a little bit interesting. I don't really know. Maybe if we go for like, I don't know, I kind of want to go for something like kind of basic, but at the same time, I kind of want to go for something like a little, little out there. Um, you know what? Maybe the crew color? Ooh, it's kind of too bright, but like, I kind of like it at the same time. Let's go for the crew color. Why not? For the secondary, we will also go for the crew color. Now for the trim color on the car, the outside's red, so... Maybe we make the inside red too, like Cabernet red. Let's go for it. Why not? Now for the side skirts, we have several different options here. Uh, I don't want to go for something too crazy, but I wouldn't mind a little bit of carbon on it, like the tuner skirts. Let's go for that. For these splitters, we can, of course, add one to the front of this thing. Oh, wow. You can make this thing look, look crazy. Okay. Uh, let's just go for the carbon splitter. I don't want to do too, you know, nothing, nothing too, too crazy. So we'll go for that. We can add a carbon stock deck lid, a smooth wingless deck lid, a high ducktail, or a carbon high ducktail. Let's go for the high ducktail. I like that. For the suspension, we are going to lower this thing down all the way. Transmission all the way up, of course, and the turbo as well. Now for the wheels, I kind of want to go for the concave mega mesh on this car, but at the same time, there's probably some... Ooh, the deep flake reverse kind of looks good on this car. Let's go for that. Why not? Now for the wheel color, I kind of want to go for like stone silver. I don't really want to go for black. So we're going to go for stone silver actually. Bulletproof tires, of course we will add those. And for the windows, let's tint those all the way out. We are done guys. I actually thought there'd be more customization, but there's not. So anyway, let's take this thing down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and a review. All right guys, so let's see what this thing sounds like. It sounds pretty good. It's not bad. That's for sure. Let's uh, let's drop the top on this thing. I personally think it's going to look a lot better with the roof down. So far, it's definitely looking a little bit better. Oh yeah, this thing this thing looks sick with the roof down. This is this is really cool actually. All right. Uh, so I'm interested to see what the performance is going to be like compared to the regular Comet S2. This thing has an active rear spoiler. I can't really remember if the Comet S2 had that or not. That is quite cool though. I always like a rear spoiler that's active. That is, that's just a cool feature. Uh, it's a nice little detail to just have on a car. So that's neat. I uh, I really like that. Overall, I'm I'm pretty impressed with the car so far. It, oh, okay. I was about to say it feels like it handles better than the regular Comet S2. I don't know how true that is though. Um, it, it feels, feels kind of like you're driving on ice a little bit. Um, let's see how the car handles this sort of twisty section of road right here the back end definitely likes to slide out with this car that's for sure oh my god i feel like it handles about as good as the comet s2 did to be honest 
Um, it's it's not super great, I've got to say. Uh, not not to diss the car. I actually really like the car, but that is the truth. It's uh, maybe not the best handling car ever. However, it is a very good looking car. I am very happy with the overall look of this thing, and the acceleration seems pretty good too. Um, if it's anything like the Comet S2, I guess the top speed is going to be pretty alright on it. I seem to remember the Comet S2 had a decent top speed, although I have heard the tuners cars have all been nerfed. So I guess we will just have to see. But uh, man, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with this car with everything except for the handling. The handling is... yeah. This thing has like no grip. It, it's, it literally feels like the back tires have McDonald's like trays underneath them and I'm just like drifting the car all the time. Um, however, it does it does drift pretty nicely. So if you're looking for a uh, a convertible drift car, then maybe the Comet S2 Cabrio is for you. Uh, but if you're looking for something for like crazy good handling, I'm gonna have to say you probably don't want to go for this car. It's just not that great. Anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review on this thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something, leave a like if not dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.